If you think Canada already has a lot of taxes and there won't be any more taxes upon us, you would be wrong, my friend, because today I saw an article published on Financial Post and I give all the credit to Kim Moody. Excellent article upon how the Canadian federal government, our dearest finance minister, Christian Freeland, the genius, and our Justin Trudeau, the prime minister, are exploring taxing the home equity in the name of generation fairness. OK, so they're actually working with a think tank and ironically, you know, I'm not joking. The think tank name is Generation Squeeze. OK, so you don't have to be a genius to understand the motive behind it. So Generation Squeeze leads to believe that they're going after the older generation and taxing their home equity. So the way they described is, you know, hey, it's so unfair for the younger people to work hard and pay uh, taxes while the boomers who have a lot of equity, you know, built up in their homes, just getting advantage of the higher prices and the equity while just sitting at home and watching Netflix. That's literally was stated on their website. OK, so it's so obvious that they are actually creating a divide between the young and the older people in this country and making them look like they are the problem. Like the way, you know, if you read this article, you understand that the way the Canadian government, federal government is trying to go after the older people as they are the problem in the society like they they went after the doctors they went after the smb business owners in terms of that capital gains inclusion rate hike and now they're going after the boomers who have been working hard right for the for the entire life paying taxes you know pay off their mortgage and now they're in their 50s and 60s trying to get fruits of their hard work in the form of the home equity that they can retire off and now the government is going after them in the age where they're almost about to retire and taxing their retirement plan like this is so wrong at so many different levels okay because a lot of people compare us and canada that us has you know capital gains tax uh, applied on the primary residence canada doesn't have it by the way they're also exploring uh, including the primary residence into capital gains tax Right now, the primary, the, any capital gains that you make in terms of your uh, primary residence, it's exempted from capital gains tax. You have to pay capital gain tax on the investment property, but not on, not on primary residence. They're, they're exploring that piece as well, that they can also go after the primary residence tax inclusion exemption as well. So the what I believe is because the liberal government is losing young voters, they're trying to win the young voters back, okay? And they are doing this at the cost of pissing off the boomers, the older workers, okay? Look, in, in this country, we are already paying so much taxes, okay? We pay property taxes. We pay GST, HST on the pre-construction uh, purchase. We pay carbon tax on our heating bills now, in addition to what we pay on our gas bill, uh, anti-flipping tax empty home tax, foreign buyer tax, there's so much taxes applied in the housing segment, but still the housing is not becoming affordable. The claim that they are you know, making by working with this think tank is they're going to make housing affordable for the youngsters by taxing the seniors in terms of their home equity. I mean, how does it work? You know, If I'm in 60s and they are going after to tax my home equity, how does my home become more affordable for the youngsters? Like this doesn't make sense. I think they're they're thinking of the this, this whole hypothetical scenario where that all the boomers will start fire selling their properties because they don't wanna pay tax. Like it just doesn't make sense. Like the, I mean, the level of insanity in, in their approach is so mind blowing. I don't have even words to explain to you guys. OK, so it seems like, you know, for every problem, the so the only solution the federal government has is taxing more, more tax, here tax, that tax, this tax, that like this is crazy. OK, um, with that capital gains tax, they're actually pushing the capital away from Canada. OK, if I'm the investor, I won't be investing in this country because I don't know how the tax policies are being reformed here because every month they're there bringing another new tax program. So anyway, apology for the rant, but this is so wrong, guys. This is so wrong. I think despite of your, your political views, I think we should all push back on this policy because this is wrong. 
this is screwing up the boomers in their retirement age like this is very very wrong what they're not doing to make housing affordable is improving the permit process okay reducing their taxes on the property construction like to some extent 25 percent of the entire pre-construction project has government taxes okay if they can cut those taxes the, the overall price is going to be reduced because the builder will pass on these costs to the consumer okay so when they apply taxes on something it doesn't make things affordable it makes things expensive anyway so you let me know what you think about that put your comments down below let me know how you, how you feel about this policy and how you're going to push back uh, in the election as well talk to your MPs and explain to them like how how bad this policy is going to be uh, for the economy overall and uh, check the links below uh, in the description there's some free stuff available and i'll see you in my next video Bye. if you are an investor in the us in canada or in europe and you are considering investing into dubai real estate market this video is for you because we have a platform called stake which allows you to invest into the residential real estate market and start earning rental income right away without going through a lengthy documentation process or coming up with a heavy down payment stake is built upon this the concept of crowdfunding so it is democratizing the entire investment strategy and, and allows you to own a single unit of the entire investment portfolio so you don't have to own the entire property right? you can be part of the pool that can actually own a piece of property a piece of real estate so that allows you to start with as low as 2000 dirhams and you can slowly ramp up so as you start investing into it you can not only own a bit of bit of real estate but you also get a portion of the rental income on monthly basis so it's a passive investment strategy diversifying your portfolio from traditional North American or European markets into Dubai which is hustling and bustling and growing very fast and allows you to build your wealth over time so so don't delay there is a link down there in the description if you click on this it will give you free 200 dirhams in your account right away to start with and you can thank me later